what's going on everybody it's eric ray with the back here and it's that time of the week again it is roster update time just ahead of week 11 we got some guys on the move going up we got some guys on the move going down and we have one name in particular that is inching his way one step closer to joining the elite 99 club so if you're new here and you want to make sure you're always up to date on these roster updates the madden updates in general madden tips make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon so you never miss any uploads so we're going to cover the blog first like we always do and then we'll just go over the individual guys that's moving up the ones that are moving down but the the five people that the madden blog is going to touch on today specifically as to why they're going up or down uh they, we got some big names here so the guys that are going up the three guys are going to touch on are derrick henry's going up uh mike evans is going up and mccall hardman these are the three guys that they wanted to particularly touch on so we're going to cover that now the two big names are touching on that are going down or might surprise some people two of the best at their position saquon barkley and odell beckham are going down now how much are they going down we're going to get into that in just a minute now before we get into the rest of the video i have to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor audible Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks in the world, and you can get started with a 30-day free trial by using my link below, audible.com slash ERW, or you can text ERW to 500-500. Audible members now get more than ever before. They get to choose three titles every month, one audiobook plus two Audible originals that you cannot hear anywhere else. Now, the really great thing about Audible is that you can listen anywhere, while you're at the gym, while you're driving, and in my case while I'm playing Madden. Whenever I'm sitting in practice mode, you know, labbing up new plays, or when I'm grinding through those really boring ultimate challenges in Madden Ultimate Team, I've usually got my headphones in and my audiobook is going. I'm currently listening to the Drew Brees audiobook, Coming Back Stronger. As most of you know, he's my favorite QB and he plays for my favorite NFL team. I love learning more about my favorite athletes and kind of, you know, what makes them tick. And Audible has an endless selection of those types of audiobooks for me. But the great thing about Audible is that it doesn't matter what you're into. They literally have something for everybody. Start listening with a 30-day free trial and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals are free. Visit audible.com slash ERW or text ERW to 500-500. Okay, so let's get into the blog. Derrick Henry is up first. It says the big Titans running back exploded against the Chiefs last week, rushing for a season high 188 yards on 23 carries, which is 8.2 yards per carry, which is insane says Kansas City's run defense hasn't been great but Derrick Henry truly took advantage of it his big highlight came on a 68 yard touchdown run in the second half where Henry showed off his ability to run through tacklers and proved that his size slash speed combination is amongst the best in the NFL Henry's actually been having a really good year he was a running back I didn't believe that much in he had a good end of the season last year but I said I needed to see more he's showing that this year he's being very consistent he's going up one overall to 85 so he's climbing up those running back ranks now and he actually went up plus one in speed too which is a very big deal anytime you go up in speed and madden uh, that's a big deal those are the ratings that, that matter the most anytime you can get that even that one point speed boost that truly is a difference on the madden field now the next guy is mike evans of course which we talked about earlier he's having another crazy year as well it said mike evans had another solid game last week against the cardinals going for four receptions for 82 yards it was a solid game but doesn't quite compare to his previous two weeks where he racked up 198 and 180 yards in consecutive games to go along with three total touchdowns he is the second in the league in receiving yards with 924 924 second only to Michael Thomas so he's going up two overall points this week 292 and he is getting into those top tier wide receiver ranks in Madden and then McCole Hardman they touched on you know having a really good year had a crazy 63 yard touchdown last week one of the fastest guys in the league and one of the fastest in Madden he's going up one overall point this week to a 74 so that Chiefs team just gets a little bit better on Madden now the big names that are falling that we had talked about a little bit ago we're going to talk about Saquon Barkley first it says it was a week to forget for one of the most talented players in the NFL as Saquon Barkley managed just one rushing yard on 13 carries against the Jets that's actually hard to do if we're being honest Barkley did return from an ankle injury far ahead of schedule and there's a chance that the issue is lingering and in turn affecting his ability to produce on the field. No matter the reason for Barkley's bad outing, the Madden rating adjusters have to address this one. So 
I get it. When you go out and you put up one carry on 13 yards, it's hard to ignore that. Uh, he's probably not 100% healthy, and if we're being honest, his offensive line is not doing him many favors at all. But the good news for Barkley in terms of Madden is, yes, he's coming down 1 to 89, but it really doesn't affect him in the game. His speed is still the same. He's one of the fastest in the game. His acceleration is still high, and he still has the most important thing, the evasive ability. As long as he has that, he is still the best running back on the regular rosters of Madden. So even though he's coming down 1 overall, performance wise nothing's really changing with him so that's kind of the good news there now Odell Beckham's the next name he's going down two overall to a 93 and it says here it's been a rough season for Odell Beckham from a statistical standpoint and last week was no different Browns QB Baker Mayfield made it a point to get OBJ the ball and he was targeted 12 times unfortunately Beckham managed just five catches for 57 yards against Buffalo as is the case with Saquon Barkley, Beckham remains one of the most talented players in the NFL, but he simply can't seem to get on the same page with his quarterback. As a result, he's been completely ineffective and the Madden ratings adjusters must adjust. So, again, kind of similar with Barkley though, he's really not any worse than Madden. He's still fast, he's still good at running routes, he's still got good hands. His awareness just went down three overall more than anything, which has really taken his overall down. So yes, numbers wise, it don't look good overall wise as he used to, but... He's still one of the best receivers in the game. Don't let that fool you. So now let's go look at some of the the other names that are moving. So the first guy we got to talk about is Christian McCaffrey. He's up yet again to a 98 overall. This man has been going up all year long. He definitely deserves it. He is a monster uh, playing like the guy he was drafted to be. And the Panthers actually put out a couple tweets about this guy uh, saying that he's officially on the 99 club watch and uh, saying, you know, they put out another tweet. This is where he started this year and this is where he already is, you know, not even the full season yet. We're, you know, heading into week 11 and he's already inched up that much. So really good year for, for McCaffrey. He definitely deserves it. Uh, Michael Thomas, uh, as a Saints fan, I like to see this again. He's going up another overall point. I believe he went up either last, I think the week before last week, he went up one, and now he's going up one again, uh, he truly has been pretty much everything for the Saints offense this year, for the most part, so uh, definitely deserves it, he's leading the league in yards, he's on pace to break Marvin Harrison's reception record as well, so uh, definitely deserves going up in those wide receiver ranks, Luke Keekley, surprisingly, he's down two overall points to a 96, that's a pretty big drop for Luke, who is, you know, one of the best defenders in the league, Dalvin Cook is moving up plus one yet again, continues to tear it up he's up one to a 94 um we've got Amari Cooper going up one to a 92 he has been really good since joining Dallas he's shaking off all the bad vibes or whatever it was in in, in Oakland he's been really really solid since joining Dallas uh Keenan Allen again going down one to a 91 overall I don't think anybody's went up or down more than this guy this year uh, he's down one again Travis Frederick of the Cowboys is down two to a 91 overall as well as his other offensive lineman here, uh, Tyron Smith, is down 1 to a 91 overall. Adam Thielen is going down 1 to a 91 overall. T.Y. Hilton is down 1 to a 90 overall. Saquon Barkley going down 1. We already talked about him. I'm just looking through the list here. Everson Griffin is up 1 to a 89. Patrick Peterson goes down yet again, down 1 to a 89. So I think he started the year at like a 92, 93. Now he's down to a 89 just in his few weeks back. Cameron Hayward of the Steelers is up 2 to 82. Danielle Hunter of the Vikings up 1 to 88. So both Vikings pass rushers going up. Aaron Jones is up 1 to 88, having a great year. Nick Chubb also having a great year. He's up 1 to 87. Todd Gurley coming down yet again, down 1 to an 87 overall. Scrolling along here, Phillip Rivers it continues to drop down two points yet again to an 87 overall. I believe he started the year at like a 94 ish he's down 2 to 87 so he's been dropping a lot this year uh chris got one of the bucks another bucks wide receiver going up definitely deserves it those two guys are killing it probably the best tandem in the league right now he's up one to an 86 overall mark ingram comes down one to an 86 overall but more good news for the ravens so last week lamar jackson goes up three this week he goes up another two he is killing it right now and i have to check his spin move specifically after that spin move he did i have to see if the spin move got an increase i just have to see and it looks like hold on trying to load it here yeah his spin move actually did go up it looks like it went up uh, two points here to a 82 overall. So he did get a spin move increase, which is, I mean, after that spin move, he pulled on that long run last week. He definitely deserved that. So good to see Lamar Jackson continuing to go up. 
Uh, Jack Doyle goes up one to a 85. Minka Fitzpatrick up two to a 85. He is killing it with the Steelers. That trade has worked out really well for the Steelers and for Minka. Kenny Galladay coming down one to an 85 overall. Not sure why. I feel like he's having a really good year. I'm not sure what happened last week. I thought he had a decent week last week, unless I'm just wrong. Uh, but I'm not sure why he's coming down. He's having a good year. William Jackson, the third of the Bengals, is up one to a 85. Scrolling along here, Trey Burton of the Bears down 1 to a 84. Nikkel Roby Coleman of the Rams down 1 to a 84. Leighton Van Der Esch continues to drop. He's down another overall point to a 84. Not really having quite the year he did as a rookie, but he's still a solid linebacker, but he, he continues to drop. Josh Jacobs looking like the runaway for offensive rookie of the year right now. He goes up two overall to a 84. Seems like he's been going up uh, the past three or four weeks. Uh, he's just been, he's been really been doing good for the Raiders. Dak Prescott's up one to a 84 overall, having a good year. Demarius Randall down one to a 84 overall. James White down one to a 84 overall. Cole Beasley going up one to an 83 overall. And something to note here, not an overall uh, increase, but Shaquille Barrett of the Bucks actually went up two in speed, which is that for a pass rusher, that's big. He's up to 84 speed now, so that's pretty good. Shaquille Griffin of the Seahawks had that big play against the Niners on Monday night, uh, batting that pass away that could have potentially ended the game if it was caught. He goes up one to an 83 overall. Joe Hayden is up one also to an 83 overall. DJ Moore up one to an 83 overall as well. Eric Reddle, however, down one to a 83 overall. Robbie Anderson down one to a 82 overall. Mark Andrews up one to a 82 overall. And the last few guys here we're going to mention is uh, Kirk Cousins goes up one to a 82 overall. He's having a really solid year. Dallas Goddard is up one to a 82. And then we have Marquise Goodwin down one to a 82. And Frank Gore is also down one to a 82. Um, Dante Jackson is down one to a 82 as well. And the last kind of big name here to mention is Ben Roethlisberger actually goes down one. Still hurt. Don't know why they keep dropping people that are down. Like, just drop them once. Why they have to drop them multiple weeks? But he's down one to 81 overall now. So Steelers, you know, get a little bit worse. So that's it for this week's roster update. What do you think? Let me know below. Do you think some people got overlooked? Do you think some people got screwed over? Uh, what do you think about McCaffrey getting to that close to that 99 club? Let me know. And as always, I will see you guys next time.